பெட்டிகோட்டா செமினரி யாழ்ப்பாண கல்லூரியின் இருநூறாவது ஆண்டினை நினைவு கூர்ந்து ஆண்டவருக்கு நன் செலுத்தும்படியாக கூடி வந்திருக்கிற உங்கள் யாவரையும் ஆண்டவர் ஆகிய ஜேசு கிருஷ்ணனுடைய பேரிலே வாழ்த்தி வரவேற்றுக் கொள்கிறோம் ஃபஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் வி கிரியேட் அண்ட் வெல்கம் யூ ஆல் இன் த நேம் ஆஃப் த லார்ட் ஜீசஸ் கிரைஸ்ட் லெட் அஸ் ப்ரே லவ்விங் அண்ட் மோஸ்ட் மோசிஃபுல் லார்ட் வி தேங்க் தி ஃபார் திஸ் ஜோயஸ் டே Thank you for the opportunity by Centenary of Batikota Seminary, Jaffna College. Bless each of us and fill us with your presence as we gather to worship and give thanks. We pray committing every event of worship into your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. I will praise you my God the King I will praise your name forever and ever Every day I will praise you and extol your name forever and ever One generation will comment your works to another They will tell of your mighty acts They will speak of the glorious splendor of your majesty and I, i will meditate on your wonderful works so glorify the lord with me let us honor the honor his name let's sing the song together o oh lord my god please stand
please be seated
in 18th the reverend dr daniel po okay uh, let me welcome all of you uh, to this special service thanking god for the 200 years of ministry through education and serving the community so we're going to go through a quick uh, snapshot i've just asked some of my staff to put together uh, especially the principals plus uh, some of the events i want to tell you this is not a comprehensive presentation there's so much that has happened during the 200 years if you put if you start putting every single thing we're going to be here all day so i have just selected a few with the help of my staff and put it together hope you will enjoy it and in 1823 the Batikota seminary was established by the missionaries the reverend dr daniel poor was the first principal the otley hall was built in 1826 and in 1836 the reverend dr h r hoisington became the principal reverend dr e p hastings on the mantle in 1849 the first issue of the miscellany was published in 1879 and the first student ymca in asia started at jaffa college in 1884 in 1889 reverend dr s w holland became the principal in 1890, the college seal was adapted and Reverend Dr. R.C. Hastings became the principal in 1899. After nine years, Dr. G.G. Brown took on the challenge of leading Jeffna College. Day students were admitted only in 1909 and the Scouts troop was formed in 1915. Reverend Dr. John Bicknell became the principal in 1960. Co-education was introduced in 1925. Reverend Dr. S. K. Bunker was appointed principal in 1937. The first national principal was Mr. K. A. Chellaya. The undergraduate men's hostel was opened in 1950 and the undergraduates women's costal in 1956 1960 Mr. S. B. Balasingham became the principal in 1964 followed by Mr. Rajan Kadir Kamar in 1968 the foundation stone for the Jaffna Technical College buildings was laid in 1972 and the Daniel Poor Library was opened in 1980. Right Reverend S. Jebanesan was appointed principal in 1988. The school uniforms were introduced the very next year. Mr. G. Rajanayagam took over in 1993 followed by Reverend Anthony Paul in 2000. Dr. Noel A. Bimlendran was appointed as principal in 2003. The construction of the netball and volleyball courts took place soon after. Reverend Dr. D. S. Solomon took over in 2014. During his tenure, the Bishop Clendren Hall was opened and the first smart classroom introduced. This year, Mrs. Roshira Kulasingham became the first lady principal of Jaffna College and 
the progress continues. Teachers, parents, students, alumni, and friends, we have assembled here today to celebrate the 200th anniversary of our beloved institution, namely Jaffna College. We have seen so many things happening in this institution. When we think of the past, When we think of the past, we are reminded of the words of the psalmist. Great things indeed the Lord did for us. So we rejoice. Great things indeed the Lord did for us. And we rejoice. During the past 200 years, we enjoyed success, defeat, victory, joy, anguish but we know during the past 200 years god had been with us guiding us in every aspect of this institution today madam principal asked me to give a, the landmarks of this important institution i will tell them important events that took place because we are going to have so many functions during this course of this year in 1816, the American missionaries came to Jaffna. I start from there. And 1816, American missionaries had come. They firmly believed in the maxim of the then president, Thomas Jefferson. Education is the only avenue to all kinds of progress. So Thomas Jefferson said, education the only avenue to all kinds of progress. Believing in that baptism, they established schools. First, vernacular schools in Telipalai and Malagam. I'm sorry that now they have changed the name of the Malagam AMTM school. But Telipalai also, now it is Andre Silva. So people have been studying in this vernacular school. Then the secondary schools, in the mission compounds, that is, missionaries were giving them secondary education in their compounds. And then came the seminary, that is, the college. That is why C.H.P. Ratna, who wrote a thesis on American education in Ceylon, wrote, as early as 1823, the American missionaries had given the people of Jaffna a comprehensive system of education with primary school, secondary schools, and a university college. This was the observation of a scholar, a single scholar, about the work of the American missionaries. And uh, Mr. J. V. Salaya, who wrote the history of Jaffna College, that is Jaffna College and Petikota Seminary, says this, that it was here the first university type education started in the whole of Asia, a university type institution teaching in the English medium. It was in Sarampur they had started a college but they were teaching in Bengal. But here it was in English. So the school went on and the school, the seminary went on. Seminary reached the zenith of its greatness during the time of the second principal, namely Richard Washington. At that time, the colonial secretary, they call him the accomplished colonial secretary, Emerson Tennant visited him. He 
said that this institution at Patrick was a fit to rank with any university of Europe. The college institution in Patrick was fit to be ranked as one of the European Knowledge exhibited by the students, astonishing. This is what uh, Emerson Tennant wrote in the famous book, Christianity. So we have been having a very noble past. Of course, we suffered, we defeat, we suffered anguish. In 1855, this university college was closed. Why? Because it was not helping in the growth. 1855 seminary was closed on the recommendation of Rufus Anderson Commission. But later they decided that the school must start. The school went on. Then again another blow in 1961 when the schools were taken over and the grant in it scheme was stopped and Jaffna College had to find its own resources to run the schools. It continued, it continued. Again, another blow in 1974 when the campus was taken, undergraduate department was closed to be the Jaffna campus of this University of Ceylon. And Professor Kailasabadi became the president of the Jaffna campus. Jaffna we continued as a high school. But during that time, we have seen so many things happen. 200 years have passed. But the time in front of us is infinite. You read in the Bible, thousand years in thy sight, like an evening gone. Ayram varadangal madu parvayil net kalinda samam pori. Therefore, we have to do so many things. And what has happened at the institution? The former principal of Jaffna College once said, Jaffna College is not great because of the buildings, because of the facility, because of the money we grieve, because of the intellectual giants that moved in this campus, because of the intellectual giants that moved, that is why Jaffna College was made. Even during the time of the seminary, Dr. Daniel Poor, Washington, and all the great missionaries, they walked, they roamed about. Then during the college time, 1972 onward, there were stalwarts, intellectual giants. Devi Chalaya, Alan Abraham, Hudson, Paramasan. These people were great men. The thesis can be written, a PhD thesis can be written on each and every person because they have achieved so much. I don't want to take much of your time. All about these people and the people who taught even during when I was a son here, there were intellectual giants like S. V. Balasing, L. S. Kulatangam, Mr. Williams, chemistry, they were very great men. And Malayalis like C. O. Elias, K. George, K. B. George, they were all in this place. So it had become very rich tradition. Great men have worked. And as you have we saw just Salaya became the first national of the college. Till that time, the principals were Americans. And when Salaya became principal, Bunker became the president of the college. And that about that era, Bunker Salaya, even now we talk, we are talk, proud about it. Bunker Salaya at that time. I am not exaggerating. Jaffna College was the best college, not only in Jaffna, but in the entire Sri Lanka. Bankas Selayai, at that time, English was the medium of instruction. Students were coming from the Sinhalese area, from the eastern province, from the central hills. It was really a university. Bankas Selayai, and this is the feat that I was able to study in this institution during that time. The work continues. And there are so many things have to be done. And I am happy with the new principal doing this work very well, separating and telling the 
present generation about our past. So we have to do so many things. We have to remember so many things. First of all, we must create men and women of standing when we used to go for cricket matches in the buses. Boys, sing. Holly, Holly, what's the color? Crimson and gold. Holly, Holly, Jaffna, Holly. What's the color? Crimson and gold. The missionaries chose crimson and gold to be the holly. Crimson color of the blood. Gold or sterling quality. The students must be able to sacrifice their life. They must shed blood for a real cause. That is what the missionaries had in mind. And gold to be to have sterling quality. Must be done. So you must teach the values of the early missionaries. And uh, Bishop Kulendran once told me that in England important positions are given only to people who studied in public school, Eton, Harrow, Westminster, Rugby, Winchester, they will give them a point. Not because they will do certain things, but because they will not do certain things. Adavade, public Rugby, Eton, Harrow, Winchester, Pundra, Kalur, Galilee, Padita, they will not do certain things. There will be no corruption. There will be no nepotism. There will be no selfishness. That is why people who studied in these public schools were given jobs by the British government. We must produce men of this character. People who can, who, men of integrity, men who would sacrifice their life. That is the task in front of us. Secondly, I wish to tell the people also, we must safeguard the monuments. Now, don't demolish the world of monuments, which keep on telling us about the past. Once in Bangalore, they decided to destroy the statue of Queen Victoria. Nehru said, no. History cannot be written. British ruled us. British were running this place. Let the Queen's statue be there. Why do you want to touch this? Here also it is important. I was very sad when I heard that the horse carried shed that Mani Pai was demolished. I don't know why they did that. It has been demolished. And uh, in Sabaratnam, who was an old student of Jaffna College, who later became principal of Jaffna Hindu College and later edited Ilanadi in one editorial he wrote. The hallmark of mission compound is the mahogany tree. The hallmark of the of the mission compound is the mahogany tree. We are very sad that at any will almost all the mahogany trees have been cut down. Here also I wrote to the would have heard about the Cleveland trees. Who was Mr. Cleveland? He was the President of the United States. Who was his sister? Nancy. Where was Nancy living? He was living in that house. Nancy, the sister of Grover Cleveland, was the principal's wife. And when Grover Cleveland became President of the United States, they planted those trees, those mahogany trees. When these trees Your responsibility to protect and preserve these Cleveland trees. They tell us the story. They tell us what happened in the past. Nancy was living here. Brother was living in the White House, Washington, about which we are all proud. Mrs. R.C. Hastings. R.C. Hastings was and This lady was the wife of trees were planted to commemorate the victory of Grover Cleveland. So happening. And uh, history of Japan. I would ask the principal, make 
arrangement ask somebody to write the history of Jaffna College history of Jaffna College up to 1922 has been written by Mr. J. V. Sallaya history of Jaffna College from 1923 to 1980 has been written by Bishop Kulendra now somebody has to write the history from 1980 people who knew the past, the people who had been living at that time must participate and write the history. Then only we will keep on reminding the new generation about our past. So we must produce men of integrity, men of standing, men who will be able to do their duty without asking of their personal Bishop Solomon Durasami, Bishop of Trichy, came and addressed our pastors. He said this, we can find the money, we can find the sponsors, we can get everything done. Where are we going to find a reliable person? Where are we going to buy a person who will be loyal to this? Very difficult. Very difficult. We are not going to find that life. This is what the Jaffna College has to do. That is, people of standing, people of integrity. That is the work in front of us. And Jaffna has a place. Jaffna College has a place. People who new admissions, new members of the board may occupy a place. But Jaffna College will continue producing. Men with crimson and gold. Crimson for sacrifice, gold for sterling quality. This is what is expected from the institution. I wish to ask the principal and the staff, the parents and the old people, have this in mind. Make this place where, play, make this place where men of integrity and loyalty. Thank you. So we are going to pray, we are going to uh, thank God for all what he has done these 200 years. This is a responsive prayer, as uh, you would have noticed all the words of all the songs, everything was coming up. The prayer points will come up, and when I say for this, please join and say, we give you thanks, O Lord. So those words will come up in red, you just have to repeat, we give you thanks, O Lord. So let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we, the community of Jaffna College, join our hearts together to give you praise and thanks for your faithfulness in the 200 years journey of our school. We acknowledge that Jaffna College is your gracious and marvelous gift to all at Watukote. While proclaiming your faithfulness, we also admit that there are times we have not acknowledged you as the author and sustainer of Jaffna College and may have even failed to seek your wisdom in all that we do. Gracious Father, we humbly seek your patient forgiveness for the times we may have taken too much pride in our achievements for getting to give you the glory. Today, while remembering 200 years of service to the community, we give you thanks for the people who faithfully and relentlessly served you through this school. We give thanks very specially for the American missionaries who began the Batikota Seminary with just a few students and all others whose vision made this school possible. For this, we give you thanks, O oh Lord. We thank you, Lord, 
for the missionary principals, Reverend Dr. Daniel Poor, Reverend Dr. H.R. Hoisington, Reverend Dr. E.P. Hastings, Reverend Dr. S.W. Howland, Reverend Dr. R.C. Hastings, Reverend Dr. G.G. Brown, Reverend Dr. George Bickner, and Reverend Dr. S.K. Bunker, who gave abundantly of their energy and wisdom and sacrificed a lot in leading this school. We also give you thanks for the dedication, commitment, and grit of our national principals, Mr. K. A. Selea, Mr. S. P. Balasingham, Mr. R. Kadir Gaman, Right Reverend Dr. S. Jabanesan, Mr. G. Rajanayagam, Reverend A. Paul, Dr. N. A. Vimalendran, and Reverend Dr. D. S. Solomon, who toiled through trying times to lead forward the charge of bringing education to children from different walks of life. For this, we give you thanks, O oh Lord. We are also very grateful for the staff, both academic and non-academic, throughout the ages, who have given their dedicated service to this college. Thank you, Lord, for those who have served and continue to serve in the governing body, the past students, parents, and well-wishers who continue to toil hard to keep this torch of education burning bright. For this, we give you thanks, O oh Lord. Finally, Lord, we give you thanks for the present staff and students of this institution on whom it falls to uphold the traditions and values of this college. For this, we give you thanks, O oh Lord. Yes, Father, we give all praise and thanks to you, Lord, echoing with Paul that we are confident of this, that the one who began a good work among us will bring it to completion by the day of Jesus Christ. We pray all this through the matchless name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. stand for the gospel reading. The second Bible reading, the gospel reading, is taken from St. Matthew, chapter 5, verses 1 to 16. Matthew, chapter 5, verses 1 to 16. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain, and when he was set, the disciples came unto him. And he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, 
Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savour, where will shall it be salt? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Ye the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Yes.
ஜாவரும் அமர்ந்து கொள்வோம் பரிந்து மன்றாட்டிற்கு கடந்து செல்லுவோம் ஒவ்வொரு மன்றாட்டின் பின்பதாகவும் ஏற்றுக்கொண்டருளுமே தேவாய் இப்போ ஏழையின் சுபத்தை இயேசுவின் மூலம் என்ற வரியை பாடலாக பாடுவோம் ஆண்டவரே தேவரீர் எங்களுக்கு தலைமுறை தலைமுறையாக அடைக்கலமானவர் இருநூறு வருடங்களுக்கு முன்னர் மேலை தேய ஞானத்தின் ஒளிக்கதிர்கள் இந்த பிரதேசத்திலும் வீச வேண்டும் என்று சித்தம் கொண்டீர் அந்த பாய்க்கியத்தை பெற்றவர்களாகிய நாம் இங்கு அந்த பணியை ஆரம்பித்தவர்களின் இலட்சியத்திற்கு பாய்க்கியவான்களாக நாம் நடக்க எங்கள் உள்ளத்தை ஏவுகிறலும் என்று நாங்கள் கேட்கும் போது ஏற்றுக்கொண்டருளுமே தேவாயி போ ஏழையின் செபத்தை மூலம் இந்த கல்லூரி தொடர்ந்து எமது கிராம மக்களுக்கும் இலங்கையின் அனைத்து பாகங்களிலும் இருக்கும் மக்களுக்கும் ஒரு கலங்கரை விளக்காக செயல்பட வேண்டுமென்று நாம் வேண்டுதல் செய்யும் போது ஏற்றுக்கொண்டருளுமே தேவாயி போ ஏழையின் செபத்தை மூலம் இக்கல்லூரியை நடாத்தி வரும் இயக்குனர் சபை உறுப்பினர்களும் நிர்வாகிகளும் ஆசிரியர்கள் சிற்றூழியர்கள் மாணவர்களும் உமது பிரமாணங்களை பின்பற்றுகின்றவர்களாகவும் உமது ஒளியை பரப்புகின்றவர்களாகவும் இருக்க வேண்டுமென்று நாம் வேண்டுதல் செய்யும் போது ஏற்றுக்கொண்டருளுமே ஏழையின் செபத்தை ஜேசுவின் இன்று கல்வி நிறுவனங்களில் பரவி வரும் போதை வஸ்து மதுபாவனை பாலியல் முறைகேடுகள் என்பவை இந்த கல்லூரியில் அணுகாமல் மாணவர்கள் தூய்மையானவர்களாக வாழவும் படிக்கவும் நற்பிரஜைகளாக உலகத்திற்குள் பிரவேசிக்கவும் உமது ஆவியை அவர்களுக்கு அருள வேண்டுமென்று நாம் வேண்டுதல் செய்யும் போது ஏற்றுக்கொண்டருளுமே துவாயிப்போ ஏழையின் செபத்தை இக்கல்லூரி தொடர்ந்து நல்ல போதனையை அருளவும் சகல துறைகளிலும் வேண்டிய பயிற்சியை அளிக்கவும் அவர்களை பயனுள்ள குடிமக்களாக மாற்றவும் இங்கு மேற்கொள்ளும் பணியை நீர் ஆசீர்வதிக்க வேண்டுமென்று நாம் வேண்டுதல் செய்யும் போது ஏற்றுக்கொண்டருளுமே தேவாயி மூலம் கடந்த காலம் இருநூறு வருடங்கள் ஆனால் நமக்கு முன்னே இருக்கும் காலம் எல்லையற்றது இப்போது இருக்கும் சந்ததியார் மறைந்து போகலாம் ஆனால் ஏற்றப்பட்டிருக்கும் ஒளி விளக்கு இன்னும் எத்தனையோ நூற்றாண்டுகளுக்கு ஒளி வீசிக் கொண்டிருக்க வேண்டுமென்று நாம் வேண்டுதல் செய்யும் போது ஏற்றுக்கொண்டருளுமே தேவாயி போ ஏழையின் செபத்தை ஜேசு கிறிஸ்துவே வாழ்வின் ஒளி என்ற இலட்சியத்தோடு ஸ்தாபிக்கப்பட்ட எமது கல்லூரி அந்த இலட்சியம் எந்த வகையிலும் தவறை விடக்கூடாது என்று வேண்டுவதோடு இனி இக்கல்லூரியிலே 
ஆசிரியர்களும் மாணவர்களும் ஊழியர்களும் தொடர்ந்து அந்த இலட்சியத்துடன் பயணிக்க வேண்டுமென்று நாம் வேண்டுதல் செய்யும் போது ஏற்றுக்கொண்டருளுமே தேவா ஈப்போ ஏழையின் சேபத்தை ஆமேன்
Let us pray. Name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends, clergy, board members, parents, alumni, principal, administrators, teachers, my dear student of Jephthah College. We are in a time where history started actually 20, 200 years ago. Missionaries from the American Board of Commissioners for Foreign Missions established Bedicota Seminary with a great vision and it began its journey to become a parable of unity and become of hope and an aroma of the gospel. However, when we look back at the history of Jaffna College, it traveled in the midst of dark clouds which were gathering on the horizon both in the society and the community. But still, we have a hope for the future. As Julian Moltmann, a liberation theologian, always said, the messianic hope was never the hope of the victor victors and the rulers. It was always the hope of the defeated and the ground down. The hope of the poor is nothing other than the messianic hope. It's time to acknowledge our missionaries, dedication at the same time. We should affirm that still we have messianic hope for the future. When the pioneers of Jaffna College started their mission journey to Ceylon, Sri Lanka, they faced many impediments financially, politically, even in, in terms of whether they lost their loved ones on the journey, as well as in the mission field. Despite the barriers, they were able to create a legacy in Sri Lanka. I would like to share a few thoughts in this morning today to encourage all of you to, to take part in the mission journey with which the ABCFM missionaries started 200 years ago. Let your light the sign. Let your light the sign. Matthew chapter 5, 16. Ungal oli menadarhal mun olirhel. In our light is to shine before others. We need to follow some important values which were taught by Jesus in the Beatitudes. Of those values, meekness is the most important value that, that one should have. Matthew chapter 5, verse 5 says, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Can you put your perbetor? Ye nani lavargal naattai urimai chotta ki kolbe. Jesus preached the sermon on the mount so that his father will get the glory for the way the disciples lived. His aim was to create a lifestyle in his disciples that would make people think about the value of God. In contemplating on the word meekness, we will in fact discover that meekness is a very beautiful thing 
even though it may be very painful. Let's try to see that weakness means from the following points. First, they trust in God. They trust in God. Meek people begin by trusting God. They believe that God will work for them and vindicate them when others oppose them. Biblical meekness is rooted in the deep confidence that God is for you and not against you. Meekness is also portrayed as wisdom in the Bible. And this become even clear in James chapter 3, verses 13 and 17. Verse 13 says, Who is wise and understanding among you? By his good life let him sow his works in the meekness of wisdom. This is a very beautiful phrase. The meekness of wisdom. The truly wise people are also the truly meek, meek people. Why? Look at verse 17. But the wisdom from above is first pure. The peaceable, gentle, gentle open to reason. Notice that the reason, the truly wise person, is also the truly meek person in the true wisdom in peaceable, gentle, and open to reason. But these are the marks of weakness. Isn't it remarkable that the marks of biblical wisdom and biblical meekness are the same? Wisdom in the Bible is never a merely intellectual affair. It is a disposition of the heart as well as the ideas in the head. And therefore, in a sense, meekness and wisdom are one and the same thing. They are both visible, gentle, and open to reason. You can see how this ties back into James, chapter 1, verses from 19 to 21. Back there, see, back there we saw that meekness means being quick to listen and slow to criticize and condemn. Here, meekness is open to reason. What a beautiful thing it is to sit on a board or deacons where when a man speaks, the others listen and then deal reasonably with what was said instead of just blading out something, relevant or making a quick judgment without thinking through the reason for it. Secondly, they commit their way to God. They commit their way to God. Next, make people commit their way to the Lord. The Hebrew word for commit means literally to roll. Make people have discovered that God is not worthy and so they roll their way. Their business, their problems, their relationship, their health, their fears, their frustrations, they roll all this onto the Lord. They admit that they are insufficient to cope with the complexities and pressures and obstacles of life. And they trust that God is able and willing to sustain them and guide them and protect them. I would, I would like to emphasize Book of Numbers in Old Testament, chapter 3, verse 25 here, where Moses said to the Lord, let me cross over to see the good land beyond the Jordan. That good hill country and the Lebanon, 
but the Lord was angry with me on your account and will not heed me. The Lord said to me, enough from you, never speak to me of this matter again. Moses was the instrument of liberation. God led Moses with a column of cloud during the day and column of a fire by night. When the Israelites saw the Pharaoh coming after them, they questioned why Moses would lead them into the desert to die. Moses told them, do not fear. Stand your ground and see the victory of the Lord will win for you today. For these Egyptians whom you see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. Clearly I say again, the Lord will fight for you. That was a great power that the Lord had shown against Egypt. It was not an easy task to convince thousands of people. But with, but with the help of the Lord, Moses meticulously led the people during their 40 year journey from Egypt to Canaan. God revealed himself through Moses to his people many times. It's justifiable that Moses would have to desire to live in Canaan. But when God said, enough from you, never speak to me of this matter again, Moses utterly obeyed and continued till his death. He didn't speak of this matter. He even died on Mount Nebo. This is called obedience. Moses had dis disciplined his desire and he controlled himself before God. How? It was, it was the possible. Because Moses was a man of prayer. In every difficult circumstance, he went to the Lord and asked God's opinion. Thirdly, they are quiet before God and wait for God. They are quiet before God and wait for God. Meek people are quiet but still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. First, they discover that God can be trusted. Then second, they commit their way to him. And then third, they wait patiently in stillness for the work of God in their lives. This doesn't mean they become lazy. It means that they are free for frenzy. They have a kind of steady calm that comes from knowing that God is omnipotent, that he has their affairs under his control, and that he is a gracious and will work things out for the best. Meek people have a quiet steadiness about their lives in the midst of upheaval. What happened in the following verses in the Lord rebukes Miriam and Aaron and vindicates his servant Moses. We can take Moses as a model of commitment. According to book of Numbers, chapter 12, verse 3, now the man Moses was very humble, more so than anyone else on the face of the earth. Here we see that Moses believed and revered God. The context of chapter number 12 is Miriam and Aaron's rebellion against Moses. Why? Why? They were at Hezeroth. Miriam and Aaron spoke against Moses because of the Gusite woman whom he had married. And they raised their op opening against Moses. Sorry, opinion against Moses. And they said, has the Lord spoken only through Moses? 
Has he not spoken through us also? And the Lord heard it. Suddenly, the Lord said to Moses, Aaron and Miriam, Come out, you three, to the tent of meeting. So the three of them came out. Then the Lord came down in a pillar of cloud and stood at the entrance of the tent and called Aaron and Miriam, and they both came forward. And he said, hear my words. When there are prophets among you, I, the Lord, make myself known to them in visions. I speak to them in dreams. Not so with my servant Moses. He is entrusted with all my house. With him I speak face to face, clearly not in riddles, and he beholds the form of the Lord. Why then were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? God testifies for Moses because here Moses was remarkably unselfish. He could have possibly become a pharaoh in Egypt. He could have made himself a king in the wilderness. But he didn't use those possibilities to become a world leader. Rather, he stood with God and committed his way to the Lord. Finally, friends, the two greatest people who walked on this earth were Jesus, the Son of God, and Moses. The greatest man who ever lived, one of their greatest characteristics and qualities was their meekness. Jesus said, take my job upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your soul. Matthew chapter 11, verse 29. Jesus have gave his life as a ransom for many on the cross. Meekness is not weakness, nor an indication of his powerlessness, but it is strength under control. Like Moses, and our Lord Jesus Christ. Our American missionaries believe that the institution will be a beacon light to the entire world, especially Tamil-speaking world. The photographic camera was brought to Ceylon, Sri Lanka by the American missionaries. The American missionaries served to abolish the caste system, liberation that filled the air in the era of Jaffna College was primarily responsible for the birth of Jaffna student conquerors. The missionary made a significant contribution to the development of the Tamil language. They introduced a new tradition to Tamil journalism, for instance, the Morning Star paper. They also contributed to the progress of secular knowledge by introducing subjects such as history, geography, ethics, astronomy, physics, physiology, and religion in the curriculum of subjects. Batikota Seminary and the success of Jeffna College have a definite place in the modernization of Jaffna College. ABCFM missionaries started their journey and their tearful farewell was bid by the, their relatives and friends. The determination to make any sacrifice for God was within the Juts and the winters into the unknown territory. We people 
of the 21st century may not understand the pains and dangers and the risk of the 18th century ship journey. It took five months to travel by sea to reach Colombo from America. Travel has to be done knowing the wind direction and time as well. Once you arrive in Asia, no matter how urgent it is, it takes about a year to go back to the motherland. They didn't know anything about the medical facilities and food system of our country. But they trust God. They committed their way to God. They were quiet before God and waited for God. At this time of Thanksgiving, we should remember and thankful that the missionaries came from for work to work for us, especially American principles and national principles. They started establishing Jephna College. May the Lord continue to be with us to be light to the world. And being Sahod Rangali. And Bana Manaba Manavi Hali. Ungaludi Oli Mandar Halamun Oli Oli Rabendum. And Bana Manaba Manavi Hala or Wendu Hold the Kandrain. Ningal or Pudia Kalachara Taruaka Vendum Palia Kalachara, Pural Buhale, Ningal Udika Vendamande in the Runura of the Antili Kurt Kareen, in the Vandal, Ungal Uli, Mandar Halmun, Ulida Vendum Ungal Uli, Mandar Halmun, Ulida Vendum, and the Uli, Kanibude, Purbechai, Undaka Vendum. Yakobu Asrudia Kadatu in Nanbanda Sahodar Sahurigale Ida Terendu Holdangal Uberverum Kurt Padil Burhamum Pesubadil Sinam Kolvadilum Tamadam Kartavendum Indre Pavul Umodi Riparanal Undre Sethir the Bar Uberverum Kurt Padil Burhamum Pesubadilum Tabara Hulidabadilum Sinam Kolvadilum Tamadan Kartavendum in addition in the words. In a Villa Bahian Alukayum Ungura Mihundula Time Mahati Ungalula Tirundra Patavate Panivore to Kolungal Adibe Ungala Mutkaman in the Runura of the Andil Nangur Sabadamada to Kolbu Kaluri Samuhamaka Alukayum Time Halai Mahati Nanum Ningal Mutpada Urupudia Kalachar Tiruaki in the Alpana Kaluri. In the Bachukora Seminary, Irunu Rwanda Kandare, in the Mai Ramanda Kanda Vendamandal, or Pudi Kalachar Teluaku. Let us pray. God, our heavenly parent, may our worship be acceptable to you. Let the peace that surpasses all understanding be with us to make a difference in the world in this week. Let our words and actions align with your word. Help us to practice what we have learned here today. Bless us as we leave this space and help us to be a blessing to everyone that we meet and interact with. Lord, continue to bless Jaffna College, the past and present principals, administrators, staff, students, alumni, the board of directors and the trustees. Help us never to forget that you are with us always. In Jesus' name, we believe and pray. Amen. Let us all stand for the benediction.
go forth into the world in peace be of good courage hold fast that which is good render to no one evil for evil send in the frightened heart support the weak help the affected honor everyone love and save the lord rejoicing in the power of the holy spirit and the blessing of god almighty the father the son and the holy spirit be among you and remain with you always amen
launching of the redesigned Jaffna College website. Our principal will now open it. Thank you, Madam Principal. Now, let us walk over to the Bignell Grounds, where we'll be launching the logo, the tree planting campaign, and many other things. today. She is the ninth national principal and the first lady principal of our college. I am the first lady principal of our college. Kaluri in Adibara Kadabati Kunta Kibiber, Unbadawa the Tesia Adibar in Badodu, Mudalawa the Pin Adibar in Badam Kuripatakade. There are five upcoming events that you will witness in this Bignal field. I hope you will enjoy the event very much. Ainde Mukia Vidangal in the Mudala Levile, Nadebara Kindade, in Nigal Will, Ugaladeva, Multi Partha Ben Badil, Evida Sadagomile. Firstly, we warmly welcome for the first day bicentennial celebration of Daphna College. We heartily welcome our Bishop, the Right Reverend Dr. V. Patma Dayalan, Bishop of the Daphna Diocese of the Church of South India, our former Bishop and past Principal, the Right Reverend Dr. S. Debanesan, former Principals, Dr. Noel Bimalendran and Reverend Dr. D. S. Solomon, our Board of Directors, our Principal Mrs. Rushi Rakula Singham, other school principals, administrators, alumni, teachers, students, parents, and well wishers. We are privileged to welcome for the bicentennial celebration of our college. Kebetulan pada sahaja ini, irnu rawa di negara ini negara ini kirim, Arab negara ini kira kerja tanda kira. Tenin dia terus cebai nuri perayaan, abang kalayum, mundal perayaan abang kalayum. Kebetulan pada sahaja ini dua orang itu, mundal adi bergal, asri bergal, alnar sabai urupin bergal, paleya mana bergal, kuru mar gal, ayel pada sahaja ini nuri adi bergal, petor gal, nalan birumbi gal, paleya mana bergal. Anda berayun ini galbit ke barabit padil perumahan cerai kanro. 
Now let's all stand to sing the college song. you please be seated Now, it's the time to launch the Bicentennial logo. We warmly invite the administrators to launch the Bicentennial logo. Kaluriyil, Irnuradu Aandai, Ninevurthu Mugamaha, Pudhiya Ilachinai Ondru Vadiwanekka Pattakindradu, Iv Ilachinai Uthiyoga Puramaha, Thiraini Kam Seyimbadi, Emadu Kaluriyin Nirvahathinarai Anboodu Alakindro. Wow, it's a combination mark, it looks smart. The logo is designed in such way in order to mark our 200 years of excellent service. Crimson and gold colored rounds in which the alnameter provides outstanding look. Mikha Sirapaha, Jesu Kristu, Walvin, Oli, and the Mavada Vasa Todu, Irnuru Varangale Kadandir Kindra, Yalpana Kalurude, Loho, Aramu Parta Patrikinda, Adane Tirenikam Sediveta, M. Kaluri in Nirvagal and Everkum, and Antigali Tirvit Golundro.
இந்நிகழ்வினை சிறப்பிற்கு முகமாக பலூன்கள் பறக்க விட இருக்கின்றன சிறப்பாக அந்த பலூன்கள் பறக்கப்பட்டிருக்கின்றன இந்த நேரத்திலே இந்த பலூன் நிகழ்விலே இசையை வழங்கி கொண்டிருக்கிறார் எமது கல்லூரியுடைய தரம் ஒன்பதில் கல்வி கட்சியும் மாணவன் கரிநந்தன் அவருக்கு நமது பாராட்டுகளை தெரிந்து கொள்கின்றோம் The second event is a time to launch new t-shirt. Now I kindly invite the retired teachers of our college, Mr. K. Sadasivam and Mrs. Jayanthi Mitraranjan to receive these t-shirts. And D.S. Solomon. I invite our college vice principal, Ms. Gladys Muthuraja and the Univer vice principal, Reverend P. Dev Devamitran to give away the t-shirts to them. Kaluriyan, t-shirt kalai uthiyogupuru maakha arayu padatku, kodu padatku. Naa malathirikindom, amadu munnal adhiban, kalanithi. அரத்துரு டி ஏ சொலமன் அவர்களையும் முன்னால் ஆசிரியை ஜேர்ந்தனி மித்திரஞ்சன் அவர்களையும் அன்போடு அழைத்திருக்கின்றோம் அவர்களுக்கான டிஷர்ட்டுகளை உத்தியோகபூர்வமாக கொடுக்குமாறு எமது சிரேஷ்ட உபாதிபர் செல்வி கிளடிஸ் நிர்மலா முத்துராஜ் அவர்களையும் கனிஷ்ட உபாதிபர் அருத்திரு பி தேவமித்ரன் அவர்களையும் அன்போடு அழைத்து நிற்கின்றோம்
டிஷன்களை உத்தியோகபூர்வமாக வழங்கிய எமது நிர்வாகிகளுக்கும் அதனை பெற்றுக்கொண்ட எம் ஆசிரியர்களுக்கும் எமது மனமார்ந்த நன்றிகளை தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கின்றோம் The next event is launching the college calendar. It is designed with our college building in each month, especially our school our college main hall, Otley Hall, is drawn by Gerushani Tiyanandan, a grade nine student of our college. We appreciate her artistic talent. Adathu Kaluri in Nadkati Valida Padai Rikinda De. உத்தியோகபூர்வமாக இந்நாட்காட்டியை திறந்து வைப்பதற்காக கல்லூரி அதிபர்களும் பேராயரவர்களும் ஒன்று கூடி இருக்கின்றார்கள் மிக சிறப்பாக கல்லூருடைய வரலாற்று படங்களை காட்சிப்படுத்தும் மூலமாக சிறப்பாக வடிவமைக்கப்பட்டிருக்கின்ற இந்த நாட்காட்டியிலே ஒட்லி மண்டபத்தினுடைய முன்பக்க தோற்றம் பென்சிலால் வரையப்பட்டிருக்கின்றது அதனை வரைந்திருக்கின்றார் என்பது கல்லூரியில் தரம் ஒன்பதில் கல்வி வயலும் செல்வி ஜெருசா அவர்களுக்கும் அவது பாராட்டுகளை தெரிவித்துக் கொண்டு மிக ஞாபக கூட்டமா ஜெருசா அவர்களை அன்போடு அழைக்கின்றோம் மிக சிறப்பாக ஒரு வரலாற்று முக்கியத்துவம் வாய்ந்த ஒரு நிகழ்வாக எப்போதும் ஞாபகார்த்தமாக இருக்கும் வண்ணம் பன்னிரண்டு மாதங்களையும் புலப்படுத்தும் வகையில் பன்னிரண்டு கல்லூரியின் முக்கியமான படங்கள் காட்சிப்படுத்தப்பட்டிருப்பது இதன் சிறப்பாக இருக்கின்றது இந்த கலண்டர்களை உத்தியோகபூர்வமாக வெளியிட்டதுடன் இதனை உத்தியோகபூர்வமாக கையளிக்கும்படி எம்முடைய பாடசாலையினுடைய பிரதம பாடசாலையுடைய மேற்பார்வையாளர் திருமதி நிமல்லி மோகன் அவர்களை அன்போடு அழைக்கின்றோம் அதனை பெற்றுக் கொள்வதற்காக எமது முன்னாள் பிரதம பாடசாலை மேற்பார்வையாளர் திரு ஏ டி ஏ அதிசயதாசன் அவர்களை அன்போடு அழைக்கின்றோம் We call upon our former primary school supervisor, Mr. A.D. Adisya Dasan, to receive the calendar. We request primary school supervisor, Mrs. Nimalini Mohan, to give away it. The next event is we will also introduce a pair of socks to mark this bicentennial celebration. I call upon senior students counselors of our college to receive these pairs of socks. I kindly invite our deputy principal Mr. AC Francis to present the socks to the students counselors. கல்லூரியின் இருநூறாவது ஆண்டு நிறைவு கூறும் முகமாக அடுத்த நிகழ்வாக காலுரைகள் அறிமுகப்படுத்தப்பட்டிருக்கின்றன வெள்ளை நிறத்தில் இருந்த கால்லுறைகள் கிரீம்சன் நிறத்திலே இப்பொழுது மாற்றப்பட்டிருக்கின்றன இந்த காலுரைகளை உத்தியோகபூர்வமாக கையளிப்பதற்காக எமது பாடசாலையுடைய பிரதி அதிபர் ஏ சி பிரான்சிஸ் அவர்களை அழைத்திருக்கின்றோம் அதனை பெற்றுக் கொள்வதற்காக மாணவ தலைவர்களில் சிரேஷ்ட மாணவ தலைவர்களை அன்போடு அழைக்கின்றோம் அதனை பெற்றுக் கொள்வதற்காக
கல்லூரியின் காலுரைகள் சிரேஷ்ட மாணவ தலைவர்களுக்கு வழங்கப்பட்டிருக்கின்றது The final event is tree planting campaign. It is plan. It is planned to plant 200 saplings in various places in order to mark 200 years of service of Jaffna College. At the first stage, five are going to be planted at the Bignell playground. மனிதனை வாழ வைக்கும் முக்கியமானது மரம் என்ற ரீதியிலும் மரங்கள் எம் கல்லூரியின் சொத்துக்கள் என்ற ரீதியிலும் இருபதாவது ஆண்டை நினைவு கூறுமுகமாக இன்றைய நாளிலே ஆரம்ப நிகழ்விற்கு ஐந்து மரங்களை பிக்டல் மைதானத்திலே நட காத்திருக்கின்றோம் அந்நிகழ்வு தற்பொழுது ஆரம்பமாக இருக்கின்றது ஐ கைண்ட்லி இன்வைட் த ஃபாலோயிங் டிக்னட்டரிஸ் டு பிளான் தப்ளிங்ஸ் இந் நிகழ்வுகளின் போது மாணவர்கள் தயவாக பார்வையாளர் கூடத்திலே அமர்ந்திருக்கும்படி கேட்டுக்கொள்ளப்படுகின்றீர்கள் former bishop and past principal the reverend dr ds jabanesan former principals dr noel bimalendran and reverend dr ds solomon and our principal mrs rushira kulasingam indre dalile marangalai naatumaru naam anbodu alathi nippadu எமது தென்னிந்திய திருச்சபையினுடைய பேராயர் அதிபன கலாநிதி வி பத்மதயான் அவர்களை அன்போடு அழைக்கின்றோம் அவரோடு இணைந்து அடுத்து அவரோடு இணைந்து கொள்ளுமாறு எமது முன்னாள் அதிபர் கலாநிதி நோயல் விலேதன் அவர்களையும் முன்னாள் அதிபர் அரசு டி எஸ் சொலமன் அவர்களையும் எமது ஆண்டர் சபை உறுப்பினர் எதிராஜ் அவர்களையும் எமது கல்லூரி முதல்வர் அவர்களையும் அன்போடு அழைத்து நிற்கின்றோம் இன்றைய ஐந்து மரங்களை நாட்டுவதற்காக பேராயர் அவர்களையும் முன்னாள் அதிபர் அவர்களையும் ஆண்டர் சபை உறுப்பினர் அவர்களையும் அன்போடு அழைக்கின்றோம் Thank you. 
concluding function of this first day. I thank our bishop, former bishop, former principals, teachers, alumni, parents, well wishers to make this event as a memorable one. I also I express my sincere thanks to the media Shakti FM and Dan TV and also extend my thank to the sponsors who helped us to celebrate this function successfully. Thank you.
யாழ்ப்பாண கல்லூரி ஆசிரியர்களின் கவனத்திற்கு எங்களுடைய கல்லூரி ஆசிரியர்கள் அனைவரையும் இன்றைய நாளில் வெளியிடப்பட்ட லோகோவுக்கு முன்னாலே ஒன்று கூடும்படியாக அன்போடு கேட்டுக்கொள்கிறோம் எங்களுடைய கல்லூரி ஆசிரியர்கள் அனைவரையும் இந்த நாளில் வெளியிடப்பட்ட லோகோவுக்கு முன்னாலே ஒன்று கூடும்படியாக அன்போடு கேட்டுக்கொள்கிறோம் students can you please sit down can you please sit down they're going to take a photograph while you're seated can you please sit down students all students please sit down janapriyan where's mr janapriyan announcer please wanted where's janapriyan மாணவர்களின் uh, கவனத்திற்கு தயவு செய்து மாணவர்கள் எல்லோரும் நீங்கள் உங்களுடைய இடத்துல அமருங்கள் பிளீஸ் எல்லாரும் வாங்குவாப்ப மேல ஸ்டேஜ் இது எல்லாரும் கதையா ஸ்டேஜில் இருக்கலாம் இந்த வெளியில நிற்கிற பாய்ஸ் எல்லாரும் எல்லாரும் மேலே இருங்க பிளீஸ் டீச்சர்ஸ் இருக்கா உங்களோட பிள்ளையரோட இருக்கப்ப இல்லைங்க எல்லாரும் பாய்ஸ் மேல நிற்கிற பாய்ஸ் பிருந்தன்
Kogan, Kogan. Kogan, sir. Taram Pati, Payonde, Matam Renda, Tirati Mundi, Ravatina, Manavara, Tangari, Irikail, Aman, the Kathir Kumarak at Guru. 
பத்து பதினொன்று ரெண்டாயிரத்தி இருபத்தி மூன்று ரெண்டாயிரத்தி இருபத்தி நாலு மாணவர்கள் தயவு செய்து அமர்ந்திருங்கள் பாடலை கேட்டதற்காக தரம் பத்து பதினொன்று இரண்டாயிரத்தி இருபத்தி மூன்று இரண்டாயிரத்தி இருபத்தி நாலு மாணவர்கள் அனைவரையும் இருக்கையிலே அமர்ந்து காத்திருக்குமாறு கேட்டுக்கொள்கிறோம் முன்னிட்டு தயாரிக்கப்பட்ட பாடல் இப்போது உங்களுக்காக எங்கள் கல்லூரியின் வாழ்வில் நாம் என்று ஒன்றாக வாழ்கிறோம் எங்கள் பொன்னணியின் போரிலே வரலாறு நாம் என்று காண்கிறோம் கனவுகள் கலைந்தாலும் கனவுகள் பிரிந்தாலும் நினைவுகளோடு நாம் சேர்ந்து செய்கிறோம் இதுவரை காணாதோம் ஒரு வித நட்போடு சரித்திரம் ஒன்றை நாம் சேர்ந்து சரித்திரம் ஒன்றை நாம் சேர்ந்து கொண்டாட 